College students are back in school this week, which means more cars on the roads. But Kauai students may be able to avoid all of that driving and hop on the bus for free. Kauai Community College now provides county bus passes to their students. And joining us this morning is Kauai Mayor Bernard Carvalho. Hello. Thanks for joining us, as well as the uh, KCC Chancellor Helen Cox to tell us a little bit more about the program. Hello. Before we get to that, uh, Mayor, I just wanted to ask you, we've been looking at all the traffic here right, on Oahu. Right. I just want you to give us a sense of how bad traffic is there. Well, on you know, I know all of our islands experience different traffic concerns. And for Kauai, you know, there's one main, main highway. And so along with some of the construction, which is a good thing, and having our, our residents, of course, uh, understand that and drive carefully. Um, so the construction part is happening. Um, we have a contra flow that ha happens to over the weekend, so that allows traffic to flow more easily. But during that midday time, we we've have a lot of congestion happening, and so we're working very closely to address that, and which is why we're here today to just one example of what we're working and what we've worked on for the past year or so with Chancellor Cox and I'm very happy with the results of our partnership. Well, let's talk about that, this program. Who is eligible to get these uh, bus passes and, and why do this program? Every enrolled student, uh, so every registered student has the bus pass. They pay a $20 fee for that bus pass, but that bus pass lasts the entire semester, which is over a $150 um, benefit. So they're paying $20 for a $150 benefit, and every student has the opportunity to ride the bus. So it gets cars off the roads and also uh, helps alleviate some of the parking uh, problems there at the school as well? Yes. Yes, I think um, probably the most important thing for our students is the cost factor, actually. And also, I think how it started, you know, with a, when I have a, a young team of uh, college students who work closely with me, and we talk story, and then from that led to an opportunity working with Helen, and then with the, with the understanding that this would be, get people um, out of the cars and into the buses, introducing this wonderful opportunity. And we had a year, right, Helen, of yeah. free bus service for the college. And after that year was done, worked with our county council, which led to now our bus pass program, which is a bulk pass program, which is in, embedded into um, the fee system right now. So that's a big, big plus, and we want to do that more. And you, you were saying uh, just in the break, you were talking about another program that you also would like to see in the future to help alleviate yes. some of the so traffic in involving not students, but visitors. Right, visitors and residents as we look from the south side right now and the north side of our island and talking about a shuttle service where we could actually get people in a, in a location, park their cars, get on a bus, shuttle and traverse the area safely uh, and for our visitors, our residents and our work, working men and women. And then on the north side, you know, there's a lot of congestion that happens down all the way down to uh, the end of the road, K Beach. So that too, working closely with partnership with hotel uh, industry, our, of course our county government and, and the residents as well. To, to look at uh, other opportunities to get people out of their cars uh, and, and seeing our beautiful island in a very safe way. All right. Well, thank you both for coming in this morning and talking a little bit about uh, that free ride program for uh, Kauai Community College students. Thanks for coming in. And if you'd like to see this interview again, you can always check out our website, kitv.com. Up next, we've got a recap of the day's top morning stories.